good afternoon late afternoon it is um i am actually gonna take you guys oh wait like oh aircon drip gross okay if you guys know what aircon drip is it's when stuff at the top just drips down oh god okay wait we go say hi to neighborhood cat no bad land Hey,耶。Hey,耶,我那時候在睡覺耶。所以都唔嘈醒佢啦。拜拜。拜拜。That's uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, one of the neighborhood bread shops. The cat's name is Siuchun. That cat got bullied pretty bad when it was young before it was adopted by the Louban la, which is a shop owner. So I'm going to Chim Sa Choi and this is the mini bus. Get a oh, was it six dollars and ten cents? So I'm gonna actually actually wait there's music here. Crap. Oh they're playing the radio. I hope I don't hear any of the music. Hmm. Let's see if I can actually hide in a better place at the back. Perhaps there's no speakers at the back. Oh no, there's speakers blaring at the back. Crap, that sucks. Okay, I guess I was in my best spot. Let me know if you actually hear, if you actually hear music. Um, <clears throat> so a bit late today, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, let me know if the music is blaring. I'm actually just turning it up so that I can actually mask some of the radio sounds that you might hear in the back just in case you hear any of it i forgot that i forgot that the mini bus drivers like to blast the radios Let's see if i can ask him to turn it down a little bit Let's see if he's willing to accommodate i wouldn't be too surprised if he doesn't though because they usually have a bit of an attitude. Let's see if Mr. Driver's feeling nice. <coughs> yes, he was able to turn it down. <coughs> Let me know if you guys can actually hear the radio in the back. Because if you can, then it's then I'm in shit. Um, turn it up just a little bit more. If anything, you'll just hear a lot of my music. Just waiting for the mini bus to start. Actually, um, I think they usually they usually don't start unless uh, the bus gets filled or when time is up. So in this case, time's up. All right, time to get started. It's um, <laughs> gonna blast it a little bit. Let me know if it's too overbearing, you guys. Um, Oh, see that's the thing with a lot of the taxis and a lot of the uh, a lot of the minibuses in Hong Kong, they just blast their uh, radios, and then you're just kind of forced to listen to it. Uh, and I don't even have a muting function on here. That's the thing. Hmm. Blast, blast, blast. Sorry, guys. Got it. You probably have to turn down your. Uh, you probably have to turn down your speakers a little bit. Sorry, I'm gonna blast the music a little bit. Um, Eric, can you let me know if you can actually hear the radio and the music and the DJ that's in the back?
because he's got it pretty loud so that's why I'm trying to that's why I'm trying to oh you can damn that's us can is it my music or is it their music um, the mic is not good is because I'm pointing it somewhere else I'm trying to dodge uh, when I speak kind of cranky um, just hold on how about right now is it better now Is it still cranky when I'm talking? I think it was a bit with a connection. But most importantly is actually, can you hear the music, the rap? Music two out of 10. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Let me blast it up a little bit. Yep, better. Okay, can you hear Can you hear the radio in the back? Most importantly, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't want to get copyright striked again. My voice is kind of coming and going because I'm hiding it. I'm hiding it, um, you know, onto the floor when I'm not talking because the speakers are just right above me. Yeah. But how about the music? More importantly, is the music at the back. Do you guys actually hear the music in the back? I'm on a minibus, but I'm afraid I'll have to get off of it if they keep blasting their music. That's the thing. Can you hear can you hear the DJ and the music that they're playing at the back? No music in the back? You can hear my music, right? I'm playing my music, the Mellow Cat music. Uh, but can you hear the the rap that they're playing in the back? The thing is, uh, there's no mute function on this app. The only way I can mute is to actually bring the microphone uh, to, to and point it to a different direction, hoping that it doesn't pick it up. But other than that, there's actually no mute function uh, for this thing. It's kind of weak. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Trust me, the the trust me, the um, the destination is a bit far, so that's why I can't I can't do jack shit. The music is just on. Can you believe it? Oh my god. the rap that's just weak how about my music like how loud is my music that's the thing um see i don't think it can actually mask anything so i think i'll probably get off and just walk it's i just can't do this i'm probably just gonna get off I just can't because he's blasting the radio so freaking loud. I all I hear is the stuff that's at the back. It's kind of sad. Sorry guys. Yeah, music is three out of ten. I can actually turn it down now. Um, okay, there we go. No, I don't want to get copyright striked. He was blasting the music way too loud. Like I asked him if he can turn it down. I think he actually turned it up. What a dick. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk to my destination then. Uh, right now, uh, people are just getting off of work, I think. Kind of. A little bit. Um, so it's kind of muggy in Hong Kong today, if you ask me. Like the whole, all day, it's kind of like that. Um, I don't think I have seen the sun today. That's okay. I can walk. 
I'm actually dressed to walk anyway. Um, see, I'll show you something. Hey Pete, so in Hong Kong, right? I'm almost always dressed to, to walk. Yeah, I almost always have sneakers on. So, all right. Hey Pete, thanks for coming in. Um, so just a bit about uh, the little bug yesterday. Um, he passed away. He passed away surrounded by all the food and comfy bedding. Um, I'm gonna bury him in the garden. Sorry, in the garden that's around my place. But at least he, you know, he rest in peace. We tried. To, I think he probably reached the end of his lifespan too. For whatever whatever reason it might be yo good to have you good to have you yeah actually pink is not my color i'm not one of those people who would wear pink but somehow everything um that is just e the most easily accessible happens to be pink so i'm like okay why not yeah, let's walk through the market here this is actually yeah Oh, this fruit stall used to have a black cat. Sometimes I dare not ask where they went because sometimes they're like, oh, they get hit by a car or, you know. So I dare not ask. If I see them, I see them. If I don't, I don't. Wow, I can smell the fruits. The fruit smells so good, you guys. Ooh. Fragrant. No Part electric jumper for a bug. Nope. Nope, there isn't. Oh, this place sells like stainless food, stainless steel dishes. Incense, stuff that you burn to uh, the dead. We have a lot of those here. And the goodies for Chinese New Year. It's still considered Chinese New Year right now, so we're still selling the goodies. <clears throat> I actually like this part of town very much. Um, it's uh oh did you know that you can actually buy uh, pomelo peels you can actually cook that into a, uh, a food dish uh, so back in so pomelo is actually uh, this fruit it's like a really big grapefruit and uh, what happens is that uh, you can eat the peel when uh, my grandmother my great-grandmother was still alive they said back in the days when people were really poor um, they can use to cook the peel of the pomelo to eat. They would marinate it, uh, they would cook it, and it would taste really good. I think I had it once before. It's kind of like a poor man's dish. It's kind of like ratatouille in a way, but it's good. That must be the season for pomelos. Do you guys have pomelos where you are? This is the, I think, Wong Gok, Wong Gok Gai Si, the, the, Mong Kok, what, the Mong Kok market, I think. So here, things are generally cheaper than anywhere else. Um, I remember my grandma used to take the bus here and she would get groceries every day because she said it's such a good deal. Yeah, it's, it's very creative. Um, my grandma, oh, the Keilun Go, the cactus fruit so good but expensive dragon fruits definitely are in season if you can see is bigger than my is bigger than my hand bigger than my fist yeah it's so crowded it is but hey everyone's uh, wearing a face mask so that's good oh look at those cherry tomatoes they're so orange uh, corn on the cob, 12 bucks for three. I love corn. Um, okay. It's just, I'm just so, it's so congested here. No, I'm not getting anything right now. Is this the market where I buy the magnetic cleaner? No, this is not. This is actually just a fruit market. Um, oh, durians, durians. 
Anyone from Southeast Asia? Um, durians is a huge thing. Oh. Okay, let me just walk through here. Oh, I wonder why my grandma used to come here all the time. The prices are really good. Wow, what is this fruit? What is that fruit? It's like a pear. You know, lai jong. The milk date? Don't know what that is. Okay, I smell people smoking. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Ah. Right, we're in Mong Kok. My destination is in Chim Sha Choi. And um, supposed to meet a friend uh, for dinner as our dinner uh, times, our dining times are extended to 10 o'clock. So people are having a little bit more uh, social interaction now compared to before, but not too much. Rose apples. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Paul, are you new to my channel? I don't think I've seen you on here on my live chat. Uh, it looks like it's gonna rain too. So Chim Sha Shui is going all the way down this way. Uh, meanwhile, I need some legitimate coffee, which I don't know where to find. But don't you worry, I will find it. If you were wondering what that sound is, it's actually coming from the pedestrian, it's coming from the pedestrian lights. So basically the pedestrian lights make, uh, make these sounds and then it's for the visually impaired to know when it's time to cross and when it's time to cross faster. Oh, people, the old style people uh, delivering propane gas on a bicycle. You still see that? So some apartments, um, because of the old infrastructure, they are limited in terms of how they can get their gas. Um, the gas, the butane gas that they use for their stoves. And they still need set yao hei, which is uh, yeah, basically those, those tanks. They're damn heavy to, to deliver. Oh, what's this, what's this building? It's kind of cool. I think they revamped uh, an older building. Right. Ah, pretty spiffy. Uh, I see a place called Suma Suma. Uh, I'll, I'll show you where it is. It's right here. It's a Malaysian food place. Uh, Megadon? The car horns blurring? Yeah. Smoke no detector. Yep. Uh, I'm in Mong Kok right now. And I am in search of good coffee. Uh, just a, a bit about the, the panhandlers here in Hong Kong. Sometimes it's not that I don't want to give it to them, but I know that they are, a, a lot of them actually work for like a criminal gang and it, they don't really get it. So I, I sometimes just don't give it to them. Okay. I just feel so dysfunctional right now because I have no coffee in my system whatsoever. And I don't want mainstream coffee, that's the thing. I want like real coffee. Oh well. Okay, let's walk through here. See what kind of surprises I come across. Asia, jaywalking is a thing, so um oops, sorry, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get ran over from these people. Yeah, um, I hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, I'm going to get rained on. I used to live in Vancouver. We rain accumulatively eight months of the year. I'm not scared of rain. Uh, let's see, I think I'm on side street right now. Try coffee from Toe Spots. Uh, is it good? What is the time for me right now? That is a very good question. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing around five o'clock. Uh, can someone tell me what time it is in Hong Kong right now? Yeah, I need, I need coffee charge. There we 
go. So one thing that I found that is not so cool about this app, maybe it exists that I haven't found it, but so far I haven't found it, is that it's got no mute function, which kind of sucks. I hope they have some sort of updates in the future. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, oh, San Dong Gai. I remember this place. So many years ago, there was, uh, where is it? I think either here, I think it was this part or that part, I, I forgot. One of these parts, so there was a story. Um, this grandma had a, uh, a newspaper stand here and that's all she ever had. Um, she doesn't have, well, she does have a family, but they've abandoned her. So she spends 24 hours at that newsstand selling newspaper. And sometimes she would she get so tired she'd just sleep on the top of the newspaper. People just leave money and they take their stuff and they treat her pretty well. But one day, um, someone actually robbed her of all of her money when she was sleeping. Well, they actually stole it. And it was like, I think about like $5,000 US. So it was before I went to Vietnam for the first time in my life. And I asked a few of my friends to gather a few hundred bucks here, you know, maybe a thousand dollars there. And I actually helped her uh, recover more than half of her money. Um, so I went to that place and, and then, I, and then I, I went up to her and I said, hey, I saw you on the news. Um, can I help you, um, you know, with some of that money that you got stolen? Because, you know, you have to pay your vendors, right? Uh, you know, for the news, newspaper and stuff. And you'd be surprised what she said. Guess what grandma said? There's a branch in Hollywood Plaza. Uh, I'm not going to Hollywood Plaza. Uh, yeah, I know. So the grandma said, no, I have my newspaper stand. And she said, I don't need your money. I'm like, no, you need my money. You just had your life savings stolen. And she's like, oh, I still have my newspaper stand. I'm like, oh my God, that is, that is incredible. And I'm like, okay, how's this? You give me your bank account number. I'll deposit in there so that, so if that guy ever comes back, he has no chance of stealing cash, which I know you keep in your shop. And then so she reluctantly gave me her account number, which I put half of the money in there. And uh, I went back a week after and she said, it's okay, she doesn't need the other half because a lot of the neighbors help her here and there and she's okay. And I remember she said specifically, uh, she said, why don't you give it to people who genuinely need it? I was like, you seem like one of those people who, who need it. And you know, that's what I learned. The real charitable people I have, I have met in my life are actually the poor people, not, not the really, really rich ones. The poor people, from my experience, um, is that when they're charitable, they do it from their heart. But a lot of the rich people, they do it for fame, they do it for show, they do it for tax returns. Um, yeah, they're not that charitable. That's only from my experience. Um, so. Uh, with half of that money still with me, I actually started, um, you know, kind of like an, an inside campaign with me and my friends. So I, I told that grandma, I was like, okay, next time somebody ends up on the news, be it an animal, be it an orphan, be it somebody who gets hit by a car, whatever, who genuinely need, need this money, who, who can't afford it, will donate it, will snowball some of it. And then in the same fashion, asking my friends to, you know, put a hundred here, 200 there thousand here um, and then we'll snowball it on top of that half that you did not take for yourself and we will donate it um, also with with your name in it too and she said it's okay she said just do it so that's how I started uh, with a lot of my uh, animal rescues and stuff um, I, I, I use the same idea so I just kind of you know donate like when I went to Thailand like a year and a half ago I didn't live stream it you, you saw a part of it but I actually gave some money to the locals to dissect 14 cats. Um, that was in the neighborhood. Uh, that was having some population problems. Yeah, oh yeah. Totally, totally. They, they, have, no, they have no hidden uh, agenda. They, they're just charitable. So respect to grandma, but she's in heaven now. Like a couple years after, she died of a severe flu because technically she's sleeping on the street. So I think she died because the weather got too cold and she had like a flu or something. And um, yeah, so she's in heaven. 
that grandma had a really tough life. From what I read online, I think she actually has a family, but they never came to visit her for whatever reason. Hey, Dougie S. Wow, you guys, I didn't expect to see so many of you guys on uh, despite the fact that I'm streaming at this time. This is a rather ambiguous time that I'm streaming. Not one of my usual times. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Um, the funny thing is, I had like absolutely zero makeup on. My hair was a mess. I just got off of the plane when I went to her newspaper when I went to her newspaper stand and when I was talking to her, I realized that somebody was filming whatever I was doing and I thought it was like, you know, just somebody, right? And it turned out it was one of the TV stations. So that's, yeah, that story actually ended up on the news or on TV. Oh, I think I see a, I think I see, uh, I think I see a, coffee shop. Is that a coffee shop? Yeah, I didn't expect to see so many of you guys here. See, our, our street cleaners in Hong Kong does a very good job at keeping our streets clean. Remember how the other day you guys said, is it because nobody tossed out trash? No, it's because a lot of people are cleaning the street. That's why Hong Kong is clean, in my humble opinion. Uh, no, this actually looks like a bubble tea, but, uh, this is a bubble tea. No, it's, I don't want bubble tea right now. Are you, what am I saying, you sure don't need makeup? Well, it would be nice uh, to have a little bit, because I just got off the plane, and I look like I just woke up, um, and my hair was a mess. Food, uh, Chiba Cafe and Restaurant. There's a place up there. Do you guys see that? Huh. Do they use cream and coffee in Hong Kong? Uh, yeah, they do. I'm, uh, I'm meeting a friend at seven o'clock, but then I need to get some coffee before I, I'm, I meet up. So I need. I need coffee. Hmm. Let's see what I find on the way. But until then, I'm kind of like half functional. So this is Yelma Day. Uh, around this area, there's a lot of good stuff. Over there, that whole entire shopping mall sells Mo Yang. Uh, Mo Yang is like uh, models and figurines for people who's into that kind of stuff. It's like a whole building uh, full of it. One of my friends actually called it uh, an otaku's paradise, like a nerd's, a nerd's paradise. Hey Zoe. Hey Bruce. Um, but if you're, but to further uh, expand on that question, local Hong Kong coffee in Ta Tan Tang they use evaporated milk. Um, coffee shops use, you know, just usually what baristas use, coffee. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the local coffee shops, it's evaporated milk. You guys actually see any coffee shops? You like half? You know what? You know what I think is really good? Es is it called espresso campana? Um, like a small cup of espresso, and then you have uh, uh, cold whipped cream on top. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Oh, actually, I kind of want that. Oh, this this girl like. She's one of our celebrities in Hong Kong. 
Believe it or not, she's like 40 something. She hasn't changed since she's like 20. Her name's Tong Lai. Incredible. Like some some people just don't age. I don't I don't know how they do it. The street on my right right inside of instead of Nathan Road. Okay. I was gonna go check out on the cats, by the way, Tiger. Tiger, thanks for the witty comments. You're like the only person who actually like backed me up against the trolls. Uh. <laughs> okay, so in front there, I think I've taken you guys there before. It's called a Golan. Golan is uh, where they sell the fruits. It's like the wholesale. And uh, the, the, there's a lot of cats in there. There's a lot of kitties. But most importantly, I'm looking for a coffee. Beautiful nails. Thank you. I always, oh, I do my own nails since I was like 20. So, yeah. Oh, there's a shop cat. There's a shop cat. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Hi, hi. Hi. That's a yes. I'll take that as a yes. Aww, she wants to smell me. Hi. Hi, hi. Are you a good cat? Why are you so small? Why are you so small? Why are you such a small cat? Aww. Aww, so friendly. What's your name? Such a beautiful cat. So, in case you haven't noticed, yeah? Okay, bye bye la. Bye bye. Let me take a picture of you before I go. Hey, ma'am. Oh, she's trying. She's trying to follow me. Are you following me? Can I take a picture of you before I go? Is that okay? Okay, alrighty. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta be careful. Don't run to the road. Gotta stay on the pavement, okay? Okay? Bye bye, kitty. Next time I'll bring some treats. I'll come back bearing gifts next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back bearing gifts. I think she smells all my cats. Okay. That's an approval right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to get going. Everything here smells like cats, I know. There's all nine of them, I know. I know, I know, I know. You have a good day, okay, Mau Mau? Bye-bye, bye-bye, Mau Mau. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Is it? Why are you following me? Don't follow me. Bye bye. 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 So cute. In case you haven't noticed, the cats in Hong Kong are generally skinnier. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a place here. There's a cool coffee shop here. Actually, there was one here. Uh, wait, am I walking to the right place? Oh, what's this building? Gaming Bun. Oh, this is like the theater or something for opera. Yalmate Heiyun Dan Sushu. Administration office of the Yalmate Theater. Okay. Oh, fun fact. Fun fact. You know the traditional chop boards, the chopping boards? 
um, how it's wood and you wonder how does it get clean right because you think all the bacteria would actually eat into this so one of my friends who's a chef said uh, when the bacteria enters the wood it actually yeah it actually dies interesting I don't know if that's true but if it is that's really awesome so on this street they sell a lot of the the baking stuff the baking racks cutlery uh, what is it kitchenware I wonder if they have any shop cats oh they have lap cheng and hang yu dried salted fish Chinese lap cheng lap cheng meaning uh, uh, the, 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 the preserved sausages, preserved Chinese bacon. Oh, so yum. So yum. Hey, I don't see, oh, uh, sorry. I don't see any coffee shops whatsoever. No coffee shops. That's so weird. Am I supposed to see one somewhere down here? I had a friend's friend who worked in customs. He said that a lot of the times they actually come to this street to, um, to confiscate counterfeits. Not counterfeit money, but fake uh, branded, uh, what shall we call it? Uh, uh, a kitchenware. Is that, is that for edema? Edema? You left your pump here. I don't see Yeah, I don't see um, coffee shops at all Let's just say I'm a little oh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but then there is a place Over there or over here. I think it's over there. It's like an artsy bookstore uh, Coffee shop, but I don't know if they'll let my let me bring my camera in there I start to understand why um, I lost a, a lot of weight from coming to Asia just look at how much we walk What's everyone up to? You know, I don't stream very often during this time. So, uh, what, what are you guys like? What are you guys doing? Are you guys at work right now? Everyone just kind of slacking off. Is that what you guys are doing? Um, this is the old Yamate police station. It's actually uh, retained a lot of the the design and infrastructure from uh, back from oh god when we were when we, when we used to belong to the UK way before that. I think probably 1960s, 70s. About to go to bed. Nice. Is my monotonic voice making you go to sleep easier? I think someone actually pointed that out the other day. Uh, they said when I talk in a, a monotonic voice, they said they love going on the stream so that they could just pass out. I'll take that as a compliment. are just getting so fancy nowadays. Is that even edible? Okay, wait. 
You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna take a selfie here. Uh, I'll probably use this for my video thumbnail. There we go. Okay. Aha! So this place turned into a McDonald's. Interesting. Next time I'll try to put on a, a, a different track of music so that you guys want to fall asleep to it. But then because you guys are from all over the world, so what puts Pete to sleep might make you guys want to fall asleep at work as well. Hey Nathaniel, what up? I'm finding coffee right now. Uh, see, with the older buildings in Hong Kong, a lot of them come in brown color. I personally find it depressing. Oh, is there a movie that has to do with Kim Jong, Kim Jong Un? Assassins, what is it talking about? Huh, reminds me of the movie, the interview. So I guess this theater, there's a theater here that plays like more artsy movies. It's less of the mainstream stuff. But where's the coffee shop that's next to it? It's still there. It's still there. It's a bookstore. Um, I wonder if they actually let me... Um, oh, Bi Wing. This is a local Hong Kong artist. Um, let's see. More tasting. There's no internet. No cameras. Um, but... Okay, I'm gonna put you guys on mute. I'm just gonna get a seat. So I'm just gonna pretend my camera's off. Okay, just hold on. Okay. Okay, I think I'll have to pretend my thing is off. Oh, it's a nice bookstore, I'm not sure. It looks like one of the Taiwanese bookstores. Hello. I'll see what cafe is in the cafe. Where are you? No. Hey, magic is what? One by one. One by one. I want magic, right? You want to do something smoothly. Smooth. Oh, smoothly, right? I want to drink. 喺度飲噶，幾多錢啊？三百。係。Okay, wait, you guys. I'm just sneaking my camera in here. Just hold on. 係。整錯啦，唔該。So it's actually. I think I will have to hide in a corner or something because they don't allow cameras here. So I think I might have to sneak it in here. Looks like a bit of a of a, a of a sneaky thing I'm doing, but it must be done. Okay, you guys bear with it. Bear with it. I'll just wait until the clerk pass by. Actually, because they don't allow cameras here, so if anything, if I get kicked out, then I might just have to. Sorry, then I, I might just have to. Then I might just have to take my coffee to go. But in the meantime. I'm just going to block my camera with my uh, with my bag so that they don't see it. So you guys are going to have to look at whatever you're looking at until until the coffee guy until the coffee guy dropped off my coffee and I can't see my screen at all. 
pretty cool, actually. Um, but it is a cool bookstore. You don't see a lot of artsy bookstores like that anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys just hold on, okay? I'm sneaking you into a bookstore which doesn't allow cameras. I feel like I'm being a thief right now. Microphone as well. Okay. You're going to see that. Uh, I'm actually, wait, just hold on. Angle's not the best, but you guys will have to make do because I'm covering my camera right now. I don't even know if the camera sees me. Oh. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you guys doing okay? I'm trying to get my wide angle out, but hopefully it doesn't look too tacky. Okay, I think I'll just stay where I am right now. This place actually got me um, popcorn. Everyone gets popcorn with the coffee. Are you guys okay like this? Yeah? I'm just gonna cover some of you guys. My phone screen is completely covered up right now. Mm. Actually, I like it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can barely read you guys' messages, but yeah, you guys keep coming. I'll take a look at the screen whenever I can. <laughs> oh, I'm reading something. So this is called Cafe Kubrick, K-U-B-R-I-C-K. Um, I see something written on the wall. It says the only way to deal with an unfree world is to become absolutely free. That your very existence is the act of rebellion. Albert Camus. What does that even mean? That you become, actually you say that your very existence is an act of rebellion. I don't even know what that means. That sounds kind of trippy. I feel like an absolute thief right now. Why is there a 90 minute meal time? Um, limitation. Of signs up that says no camera. Um, I guess people like to take pictures here. It is a beautiful place. I don't know what's wrong with taking pictures here. Doesn't it promote the shop even more if you let people take pictures? So here they have no Wi Fi. Um, Mm. 
Yep, no Wi-Fi, no decaf. No skim milk, no soy milk. Okay, they've gotten an attitude. Interesting. Um, is it number six? Is it number six? I'm holding a number six sign. Number four. Is it me? You guys, do I seem to be like extra sneaky right now? I hate, I hate it when I have to sneak cameras into places. Um, yeah, it's overcast. I think it might rain later. Um, but the thing is, right? Um, in Hong Kong, if it rains, um, it's super hard to find. It's super hard to find a taxi, actually. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, um, I need some luck if it rains. Okay, give me my freaking coffee. I'm tempted to put my uh, wide angle on so you guys can see what I'm doing, but then the wide angle would make my phone stand. Um, so, uh, just a little bit about like uh, what's happening in Hong Kong right now, right? Um, what is it this morning? What is it? Um, was it yesterday? Anyway, um, so uh, because we're having the uh, what's trying to call it, we're having the more relaxation uh, regulation when it comes to dining and stuff, right? So everyone is on like revenge spending right now. Um, what does that actually mean? Revenge spending is in they're spending recklessly to overcompensate for the fact that um, they didn't get to spend before. So, uh, yeah, when you go out, you sometimes see places like that have like things that are not really good for bang for the buck. Neither is it really that tasty, but then people just keep going for it. And um, yeah, that's revenge spending. Do you guys actually have that where you guys are? I hope wherever I'm going tonight, it's not a place that's like this. Shitty food, high prices, lots of people go. That would suck. Fingers crossed. Where's my coffee? I want my coffee. Pretty cool artwork that's on the wall. Is that why they don't want us to take pictures? Hi, guy. Hi, thank you. All right, coffee is here. Yeah, I'm cover. You guys are actually blocked behind my bag. You guys are under cover. Yeah. Let me see if I can put my uh, wide angle on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Covering my whole screen with the bag so that people don't know that I'm streaming. But it's kind of obvious because I have a microphone that's on my uh, on my collar. Okay, let me see if I can actually put my. Um, this is my other. Oh, such a small cup. Hmm. Whoa. Strong. Strong coffee. Now let's see. And uh, I had to bring the ones that don't fit my phone, hoping that they'd fit. <sighs> okay, that didn't work. I spent about two hours looking for my wide angle lens at home. And yeah. I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. Uh, has the government assigned, assisted in helping people with extra money to help with the economy? Fuck no. Fuck no, this is Hong Kong. Of course not. Okay, there we go. 
There we go. There we go. Um, I don't think Hong Kong will ever. Yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good way to dream, but it's not gonna happen here. My mission is so that I don't get kicked out of here. What do you think are the chances of that? I wish I can actually take a picture of my setup right now. I'm actually sitting um, here with my gimbal on the table with no phone attached to it. And it looks like I'm a crazy person that's talking to myself with no phone in my hand. Um, live so that when your children think of fairness and integrity, they think of you. M. Jackson Brown Jr. Cool. This is pretty cool. This place likes this place likes um, quotes. I think this cafe is actually kind of like an artsy cafe because the stuff that they talk about here, they're actually not mainstream. Like none of these people I know, and none of these topics seem commercialized. I didn't know that they actually have art here. It's like 10, 11, 38 p.m. Nice. Her reaction is like, fuck no, this is Hong Kong. Of course not. Yeah. Hong Kong is not known to be um, a charitable place, place in that regard. Do you guys see the background? It's actually a pretty cool bookstore. I wish I can actually show you guys. But this is one of those um, cafes that actually tells people um, to, you know, enjoy the coffee. We don't have internet here. Um, but sometimes I think here, that's just an excuse to tell people to fuck off so that they can just drink their coffee and go, that they don't take up too much of your space. Do they do that where you guys are? Like, sometimes they make the seating as difficult as possible so that they can kick you out as soon as you're done. Mm. It's actually really strong coffee. It's actually nice to see that people are having conversations. Actually, if my house looks like this, I'll be quite happy, minus all the books. people won't kick me out really are you serious now for um, in Hong Kong a lot of places actually don't allow cameras for whatever reason like um, I, I don't know what that is I don't know why that is um, in Taiwan they actually quite welcome it for the most part um, yeah but here I don't know why what's the culture for coffee shop like where you guys are but that's different this place is a bookstore and a coffee shop I just down my coffee at light speed. Oh, my coffee latte art is still at the bottom of the cup. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna grab my finger. Oh, that was a quick, that was a quick hit of coffee. Nice, 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 nice. Put the thingy here. Gonna take this. I hope you guys enjoyed the coffee break with me. Short, sweet, didn't get kicked out, which is kind of cool. Okay, gonna point you guys downwards. All right getting 
my ass out of here. Please close the door gently. Okay, but it's not opening gently. Okay. Wait a minute. Where did the thing go? Crap. Crap, where did my thing for my gimbal go? Fuck. Just hold on. Uh, Um, my gimbal clip, my gimbal clip, where'd it go? Shit. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Uh, I just lost another piece of equipment. That sucks ass. Um, the thing that clips my gimbal onto my phone is missing. Shit. Please tell me that did not just fall out of nowhere. Where did it come out of? Okay, you guys, uh, I think I lost another piece of equipment. Crap. Where did it go? Okay, I took this off when I was here. <laughs> Did someone find a piece of something? It's like a... No! 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 That sucks! Okay, if I pulled it off... And... Huh! How did it just go missing like that? It's the clip that goes on to here. Did I did it fall where I was sitting? No, it actually. No, I took it off before I went in. Before I went in. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the shop and ask. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket. Just hold on. Hmm? Hey. Oh, nice. They found it. Okay, they found it, you guys. They found it. Haha, <laughs> good thing I asked. Good thing I asked. Woohoo! Just saved myself a couple hundred bucks there. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna put you guys back up on my gimbal. Thanks for being with me, by the way. Um, I know sometimes, due to the nature of whatever I'm doing um, and the places I'm going, sometimes it's not that camera friendly and I have to put you guys on, on like incognito mode. Okay, gonna be a bit dizzy here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay. Back to normal. Ah, all right. Uh, Melbourne, Australia, have coffee shop every street. Uh, but rain, we have a coffee shop over there where you have every, anything you want or you can make your own. What do you mean make your own? Like you make it yourself? I didn't know that you can do that. Oh, shit. Ah, there. I think I have to go cordless with my mic one of these days. Because otherwise I'm just going to tangle myself up in cords. Not fun. Um, but you're watching when you can. All good. Art Coffee Museum. Did it fall where I was sitting? No, it didn't. I think I just left it on the table. But you know, I still can't find my other uh, wide angle. I'm a bit sad. I can't find it. I spent like a couple hours at home before I started my stream looking for looking for my uh, wide angle. So this is where we are. <sighs> All right, gonna take you guys down Temple Street. Temple Street is, uh, it was a pretty touristy area when we had tourists. Now, I don't know what it is. It's 
go check it out. Oh, hey birdies. Hey birdies. Oh, it's not scared of me. Okay. Oh, I feel good after the coffee. Woohoo! I feel alive. Am I the only person who can't survive without coffee? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Okay, it's almost six o'clock right now. My dinner thing is at seven o'clock. Actually, I usually feel quite full after I drink my coffee for whatever reason. Wait, I still didn't eat yet, did I? What did I eat this morning? I had breakfast at like six this morning and that's it. Crap. Okay. Let's cross the road first. Another prehistoric building in Hong Kong. See that temple at the back? This is a, yeah, quite old. I think when there's like festivities and stuff, they actually open this place up for people to uh, buy some. Buy some meaning to, uh, to praise their, their god by certain rituals. This one. open right now but see it looks like one of those it looks like one of those uh, temples that you see in like ancient Chinese movies doesn't it okay, anyway gonna get out of here so we're in Yang Mate right now we walk from uh, Mong Kok to uh, what is it Mong, Mong Kok Yang Mate yeah, walk Mong Kok to Yamate. Gonna walk by the sex shop that sells very interesting stuff. I wonder actually who comes here now that we have no tourists. Also more sex toys, more sex toys. Banana underwear, okay. Booths for tarot cards and uh, feng shui and palm reading. This street is actually quite famous for that. Huh, this place got revamped. This is the Jade Market and the Yamate Public Library. Who goes to libraries anymore here? Huh, but it actually looks a lot nicer now. Very cool. More shops selling sex toys. The devil dick, the devil duck. If a dildo is called the devil dick, then is it good or is it bad? Uh, people can buy the accessories for the pipes, the bongs here. And, and from one of my friends who actually came to Hong Kong, he said it's super cheap. Yeah, more accessories for bongs. I didn't know that we have that many pot smokers in Hong Kong. A double dick. But they. But there was a type on it. It says the devil duck. That street sounds like a lot of fun. Yep, fun, fun, fun. It depends on what kind of fun you're talking about, but yeah, you're not exactly wrong. Oh, this place sells shark fins. Dry shark fins. Yep, more of these shops that sell dried shark fins. And the shop cuts are actually quite smart. Uh, they usually 
steal the hoi mei. Hoi mei is like the dried seafood, the dried scallops, um, the dried sea cucumbers. <laughs> I know Blood Wayne, eh? This street, I think, is known to have a lot of prostitutes. If you see behind me, uh, they're actually waiting for their clients. Usually you see the auntie. See, uncle looks interested. He's walking slowly. Oh, oh how much, how much? So, um, as I mentioned before on some of my previous live streams, uh, prostitution is completely legal in Hong Kong as long as you're not working for a pimp. So, uh, on this street, they could go mad guy. Uh, Shanghai Street. Uh, yeah, you'll still see prostitutes that are like stunning and they're like you can they're not scantily dressed but you can tell when auntie is dressed up and they're uh, they're usually a sex worker so this street is kind of famous for that so many Seymour street cats if you ask me Oh, there is a street cat! Hello! Meow meow! Hello! Hello! You get my man? I'm the Yi Gay Hoi. Who's your dick and Yana? You dick and Yana? I'm not a Yi Gay Hoi. Bye bye. Bye-bye! <laughs> Aww! I just saw that cat there with the corner of my eye. Cute! Cute! She's quite nice about it, actually. Uh, no, no, they don't just come out at night, actually. Um, I think, um, I think here, uh, I, because prostitution is legal, so I think you just kind of work around the clock, right? Oh, see, if there's a smiley face, haha, -ha, it means there is happy endings. There are happy endings. That's what I was told. Happy ending massage. Look for the happy face inside the foot. Happy, happy. Oh, these are um, mantis shrimps. Mantis shrimps are so strong. Their punch in water um, with the water resistance is so fast that it actually creates something that looks like a spark. Um, due to the energy that's exerted in such a fast period of time their opponents are striked before they even know it it's so cool i watched a documentary that's for uh mantis shrimp they are so freaking strong it's like having two maracas and they just punch the shit out of you oh 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 scantily dressed aunties oh. i think i accidentally got one of uh, the girl's attention she was like oh cover up her face I was like mm, sorry you weren't you weren't the center of my uh, video actually if she didn't cover her face like that I wouldn't even have paid attention to her but I do understand I do understand so I try to avoid uh, avoid you know pointing my camera at them by accident because I do understand that they don't want to be on camera Ah, I think on the left here, there was a cat. Uh, so you can see my route, I'm, I, my route is actually like going by the shops and see if I can actually see the cat. I think there's a shop cat somewhere around here. Mm, yeah, that was. 
visual spectrums are an incredible number of colors humans can never see. Yep, exactly. Yep, exactly. They are so cool. Mantis shrimps. Oh, we eat them here. So I'm like, no. And same thing with squid. I'm like, no, that's the Einstein of the ocean. They just ate their Einstein. Yeah, so this area, they had a shop cat that actually wanders around this area. But I don't see her today. Maybe she's out doing cat stuff. Oh wait, it's it's up there. I'm not a big fan of mantis shrimp. I've had it once before. I uh, can't really appreciate it. Okay, let's see if the shop cat is here. I think the shop was here, but the cat roams around. Oh, there he is! Ha ha, ha ha! I knew it. Do you guys have you guys seen the cat? See, he's right here. Hello. Hello, hello. I see you. Ah, so cute. <laughs> I knew it. Bye bye. Too cute. Way too cute. It's funny how I remember landmarks by uh, by the shop cats that they have. It's kind of amazing. Like if you ask me, it's like, oh yeah, it's where the marble colored cat is. It's like, yeah, they sell like phone cards and stuff. But if I was to remember like where this place is, I wouldn't remember. Mellow Cat is uh, directionally uh, challenged. Actually, I'm really hot right now. Can I actually just take off my jacket? Okay, you guys just hold on. My mic might make some noises because... What? Hello Kitty? What about, what about Hello Kitty? Just hold on. Uh, I can take off my jacket. Uh, I'm trying to take off my jacket. I'm sweating. And what whose idea was it? Obviously my own, to wear a downfill jacket when it's like freaking 20 degrees outside. Uh, If anything, I probably smell like sweat right now. Okay, much better, much better. So hot, I think. I'm still hot in this t-shirt actually. Um, not to mention dragging around a downfill jacket. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. See, that's the thing, that's the mistake that I make all the time is that I actually dress like it's summer when it's winter and I dress like winter when it's summer. Uh, I think it's incredible that I spotted a cat. You kept asking where was a cat? Yeah, I know, eh? Okay. I'm gonna have to hold on to my jacket because my microphone is inside. Okay, you guys, do you know how difficult it is to be vlogging when you have like this lugging around all the time? Ah! It's such a bitch. I need to go wireless. And I must go wireless. Do you guys know anything about wireless microphones for the iPhone? But but then we'll have reception and interference problems, which is probably a bitch too. Oh, oh, okay, I get Hello Kitty, like not, oh, the Manning Cat. Aha, Maling Mawa. It's the mascot for our drugstore. So cute. Manny cat. Oh, hello. Now. Okay. Anyway. 
I should have worn no jacket. Look at everyone's just wearing a t-shirt. Here I am, light down. Insane. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain. I wouldn't I wouldn't be too surprised if it does. Okay, now people are getting off of work. See, um, if you guys actually look around in Hong Kong, most people are on their phones one way or another. And uh, the backpacks are worn on their back, so that kind of tells you how safe this city is. It's not like you have to look over your shoulder, um, you know, and be aware of pickpockets. Um, like even when I was in Europe, I was like, oh my God, I cannot be doing this in public. Not in Malaysia. I can do it in Japan. I can do it in Korea. I can do it in Taiwan, but in some countries, I just can't unless I want to have my stuff stolen. giving you guys some hearts would be quite nice random hearts and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so please consider doing so so that uh, you'll be notified if you turn on the bell next to my uh, next to uh, 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 my subscribe button so that whenever I do live streams or whenever I have videos up you'll be notified let's just toss in a few more hearts <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Looks like people walked and drive. Yeah, here it's not necessary to walk. What am I talking about? To drive. Um, not necessary at all. At all. Hong Kong is very convenient. Our public transportation is very well done. Uh, the Hong Kong convenience is very good. So, no. Ooh. It's, I love it. Double decker buses. I always found it so thrilling when I was, uh, uh, when I was back from Canada, because in Canada, you can be walking for a long time and there's just buildings and residential areas. Whereas in Hong Kong, it's very visually stimulating. Even if you're not buying anything, like, come on, if you look at the side streets, like it's a very vibrant city. If you, you look, there's always like food stalls. There's always things to buy. There's always things to do. Newspaper stands, you're gonna see less and less of these because people are going digital. Um, But those used to make a lot of money for people. Huh. I think this explains why um, my shoulders are feeling kind of stiff sometimes is because Oh, these are Hong Kong egg tarts. Puff pastry, custard inside. Wow. Uh, I almost missed the bus. What bus? Which bus? Sorry. See, they sell some pretty fancy face masks now. It's like really colorful and stuff hey Pete thanks thanks for coming on I had a really long stream today um, hope you guys enjoy it see if you look at this building right here look at it. pretty cool like every now and then in Hong Kong you see a building that looks like that I think it's beautiful. 
I still think Hong Kong is a very beautiful city as of right now. I still give it a B plus. The reason why I didn't make it to the A is because the houses here are very small and it's very crowded. But in all in all, other than Hong Kong being expensive, I still think it's okay. So this is our Chum Sha Choi police station. This is Nathan Row, by the way. Yeah, the buildings are big. Uh, I'm gonna cut you off before, uh, before that, way before that, because uh, my battery wouldn't last that long. And second of all, it'll be totally socially awkward uh, because this friend of mine is not only camera shy, but just shy in general. So it'll be it'll be quite bad to actually put her on the uh, on the spotlight. Or if I if I leave the camera on, I'm sure she'll be like so she'll be so uh, nervous just knowing that it's on, uh, knowing that it's on. And I want to spend some quality time with her engaging in girly conversations. Oh, that guy can use his shirt. Can I just say that? See, the funny thing is, is sometimes, sometimes you actually hear my inner monologue. Um, you hear my inner monologue when I'm talking on my live stream. I think someone was actually telling me, he's like, oh yeah, it, uh, uh, that they actually get to know me a bit better like through my live streams i'm like yeah it's because my my alter ego my inner monologue and me it's all on here i have shy friends i have i have hella shy friends uh not all but uh even like a couple of my best friends are really shy because your masks smell horrible your breath is trapped inside with saliva um, no, because we throw them out. Yeah, the ones that I have are biodegradable. So uh, basically, I just throw them out. Tasty crab around here. Ah, Tiger Chan, you know your stuff. Salam though, right? Uh, back, back behind me. So this place is actually a church. It's a St. Andrew's Church Life Center right here. This is a very prime neighborhood in Hong Kong. Oh, you guys look, Nathan Road actually looks less dead now. The shops reopened. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, the shops reopened. It looks a bit more vibrant. Okay, anyway, so this is a church. Uh, very expensive place to build houses, if you ask me. But yet, usually the churches own, or the mosque own these uh, property. Even down the street, you'll see like I think a Muslim mosque, and again, prime property. Oh, really? Your grandma was married in the church up there. She didn't invite me. I'm just kidding. I'll probably just like crash. If I could go back in time, I would crash her wedding. It's like, hey, it's Melikat from the future. Is it like that in your city? Like, um. In the morning when people are going to work, you hear that the city's a lot more quiet and people walk a lot faster. And when it's like, you know, uh, getting off work time, you see that people walk slower and that the city has more noise. A relaxing topology, Hong Kong's very pretty. Um, city is the third rundown, third rundown places. Where, where are you from? There are some of the most expensive places to go to. Are you from New York? 4K monthly, one to three bedroom. I'm guessing you're from New York. Definite, definite. Uh, Chan King Man, Chung King Mansion. Yep, Chung King Mansion is actually a lot nicer now. It used to be really run down. Well, that sounds like, yeah. Well, you know, 4K a month is expensive, but then where I live is actually the the rent is not too far from that. Zeggy S Mello, the party crasher. Fuck yeah. Are you open to dating younger guys? What? What kind of question is that? Let's see, Redwood City, California. Wants to rival NYC, unfortunately. What's California like? 
I have never been to California. I've only been to Frisco um, and uh, Seattle. Wow, oh, there's so many people. So many people. So there's a shopping mall here. This one is called The One. And I think it was one of the tycoons who fell in love with one of our, uh, 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 the, the actresses here in Hong Kong. And he actually named the building kind of after her. He called it The One, but he was making a reference to her. I think that's kind of sweet. Moss coming up to the right. Yep, that's right. You pay only 1K. Oh my God, 1K would probably get you a room in Hong Kong. 1K US dollar. Uh, curious, I'm only date men older. What's my preference? I think mental age is more important than physical age, if, if you ask me. Um, because for me, I think in the long run, um, if the values are the same um, and that person is like a, like a, like a, a good partner, buddy for life, um, I think it boils down to mental age for me. You know, of course, if, if the actual age is too great, then that would cause other problems because we would be in different stages in life. But um, but if it's not too great, like, you know, I don't know, like 20, 30 years apart, uh, right? But even that, if I'm 70, then 20 years apart is probably not that big of a gap. But yeah, so I think mental age. Uh, lots of people, huh? Hey, Benjamin. You're 13, very mature. Uh, and can we talk later? Um, hmm. Okay, so let me go back. <laughs> let me go back to the analogy when I said, if I'm 70 and, that, and the guy is uh, a 50, that wouldn't be an issue. Okay, so maybe, maybe we're gonna have to go back to that analogy. So are you gonna you're, come back 50 years later? <laughs> but thanks for asking. I have some pretty young audiences, you guys. Yeah, I do. Um, believe it or not, uh, my channel has been around for around three years, give or take. Oh, this is the mosque. Beautiful mosque. Excellent location. Uh, here, uh, the Muslim, the Islamic center here, it's actually, this building has been here for a very long time. Uh, Hong Kong is very accommodating of all sorts of religions. You can have whatever church, whatever uh, you want. It's just another, it's just another religion in Hong Kong. So in Hong Kong, we don't really promote or ban much religions, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of like a melting pot. Blood Rain, you're 26. Cool. Well, just so you know, guys know, so for the beginning of my channel, it used to be 13 to 18 year old girls that watch my channel um, at the very beginning. And then I think after a few years, I think the girls must have got older. So they start to move to the, the 18 uh, to, to, to 25 uh, group. Um, so I, I think the, uh, my audiences are actually growing up with my channel. And pass a payphone booth. Haven't seen one for a long time. I know, I know. You don't see those very often anymore. So that's what I like about Hong Kong. Very vibrant city. Very, very vibrant. I think they're trying to buy this whole entire building. See how these are gone? Upstairs is gone as well. So, and then this is only left standing. That's on the verge of closing. And this is closed. So I think someone's actually buying this whole building. They're gonna revamp the whole thing. What dinner am I grabbing? Um, I'm gonna check out this uh, sushi joint that's in the area. It's supposed to be very high uh, in value. So it's supposed to be quite a cheap bite, but supposedly it's quite good. Wow, you guys look at all the cool face masks that they have. Pretty cool, huh? You know, you guys, you know what's missing today? I'm, I'm surprised none of you guys actually pointed it out yet. Yeah. Since you guys didn't point it out, I'll do it. I'll do it myself. 
Wait, just hold on. Uh, nobody pointed it out today yet. I'm surprised. <laughs> Can I get Holly and Hollis on a live stream? I'm trying. To, yeah, I'm trying to hook them up. That's what I'm trying to do. But Holly is a bit busy lately, so I'll have to wait. That's why when Hollis was like, "Let's hang out the other day," I'm like, "Wait, just wait for it. Wait for my other girl friend." <laughs> okay. Anyway, enough with the with the ears. What's my salary range? You don't ask people salary range. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, I can tell you it's anything between a dollar and a million dollars though. I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay. All right, hey. All right, hey. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Social distance. There's plenty of uh, plenty of places to travel in California. It's just huge. Say outside, there's a couple of European countries. We have last remaining redwoods in the world. Nice. Redwoods. What's redwoods? Let me look that up on uh, online in a sec. Avocado head, please. No. But I will show you guys something. You guys remember the bug that I found yesterday? Um, who was on my stream yesterday? Just hold on. Yeah, Mr. Bug that I found yesterday. It turned out it was a Mr. or not a Miss. Um, he died in peace. He didn't make it. Um, I'll, I'll send you the picture. So this was the last picture that I had of him uh, doing well. So this was him. There we go. Oh, hey, Gaynor Lee, hi, on Facebook. Do I use dating apps? Should I be using dating apps? Is that something that I have to look into? I think I'm too busy <laughs> to be on that. I mean, I can download one, but mm, probably don't have time for it. I'm trying to reduce my time uh, uh, being glued to a phone when I don't need to. No, I will donate $1,000 to your Patreon if you do the same. But you'll have to come to Hong Kong. How's that? How's that for a deal? Or you can consider donating $1,000 to my Patreon and then I'll think about it. I think that's also good. Her day I was actually a male and that it would pass, which made me sad because of all the effort. Nah, nah. You know what, sometimes we can only try. We can only try. But he died um, in peace. It's had, it's had some water, it's had some uh, food before it went. Um, it was just snuggled up and uh, it's, it just left in peace. Okay, BY, go to where I just went and scream off top of your lungs, please. And, and meanwhile, while you're at it, please do a live stream of it. I'll be the first one to watch. Wow, there's a lot of people. So this place is called Hao Fukai, right? Hao Fukai. Um, so full of food, left and right. It's a short little street, but it's known to have good food. Wow. Oh, they have steam pots here. Actually, ooh, has anyone ever had steam pots? Steam pots is really good. Ooh, ah, people are lining up for dessert already. By, I thought you're in Hong Kong already. You shouldn't miss Chim Sa Choi. You can come here anytime if you're here. 
I'm almost certain BY is not in Hong Kong right now. Uh, so good. Oh, there's a place here that have Thai boat noodles. Boat noodles. Super yum, super yum. Yep, all creatures have souls. I think even trees and grass and everything, they ha to some extent, I think they have one too. But as I say, I will try. Uh, to some people, they're like, oh, they're a pest. Yeah, stink bugs are a pest if you're, if you're a farmer, but they don't pose any harm to us. And even if they're like a poisonous bug, even if they are, which they are not, um, they only, they're only poisonous if, you're, if you provoke them. You know, like I, I think, you know, sometimes it's a matter of perspective. When we look at them, we think they're ugly and, and being a pest. If they look at us, we're just as ugly, just as destroyful. You know, I'm sure nature sees us as being the, the, the guy that kind of breaks everything. So yeah, next time you see uh, something that you thought was ugly and you know, is a pest, think again. They probably think about us the same. People don't seem to care you're streaming. In America, people stare. No, in Hong Kong, people just don't give a shit. All right, I'll see ya, blood rain. Yeah, I think I... Well, it's good to see all these restaurants are opening back up. Just so refreshing. Um, Okay, I'm gonna probably wrap up my stream too because my phone is actually running out of batteries. You're very ugly and other creatures might think you're beautiful. Again, it's a matter of perspective. They'll still think, it's like, oh my God, it's like, why do you guys not look like us? Where's your wings, dude? Okay, let's see. Okay, I have to go look for the place where I'm supposed to go. So I'm gonna have to let you guys go. I hope you guys like the stream. Uh, if you guys are not on my uh, Discord, uh, you know, consider coming in if you want to be part of my regular community. Uh, if that's not your thing, that's fine too. I will see you on my next stream. Yep. All right. With the with the bare ears. Later, people.